All right, we live. Hello, hello, Pink House audience. I am so excited today. I have with me Lenore Barbour. Is that how you say your last name? That's correct. I'm okay. Sure. Thank and you. She is a fascinating gem. She's going to tell you a lot about herself. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting her this past Sunday at a wonderful, wonderful Pink Out 2022 event. Um, and, you know, I just was so excited that she agreed to. Uh, be my first steal from that event <laughs> to come on to talk to the Pink House audience and tell us a little bit about herself. Lenore, introduce yourself and tell us what you're all about. Um, my name is Lenore and um, I'm a local nail care professional. Um, I focus on the feet mainly and I cater to the elderly and firm and people that are diabetics. Um, I also, um, I make jewelry on the side. Oh. So I love doing that. I've been doing that for over 20 years. And wow, these last... which one of these things were you doing first? Which one did you start first? Oh, the feet. The feet the has feet? been eight years. Okay. Eight, almost, we go almost 10. Um, the, 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 when I made my, the jewelry business a real thing, it was two years ago. Okay. Like legal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Know, yes. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing these so days. So how did you get into doing uh, nail care, uh, this mobile nail care that you do? What got you interested in doing that? Actually, I was in a completely different field. Okay. Um, I was, it's called a medical coder. I don't know if you're familiar with Oh, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was doing that for about I actually took up coding in college. You kidding uh, me? <laughs> yeah. And so, and I work at Hopkins in the HIM department. So I'm yeah. real familiar. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. So, so I, I was doing that for about 15 years. Wow. Um, the company that I was working for, um, they lost the contract. They, okay. they would apply for contracts and get them for five years. And then, but this time they didn't get it. Wow. Um, so the company shut down. I didn't have a job. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I kept looking for another coding job and looking and they said, no, that place closed down. Obviously, there's been some issues. So mm -hmm. they didn't really want to hire me. So I, I, I talked to my mom and I said, I, I got to find something to do. I, I can't do, I just can't sit around. I need some employment. So right. I, one day I was just looking on the internet and, and I said, I'm a, I think I'm going to go to nail tech school. I, okay. I, that's what I'm going to do. So that was eight years ago. Um, and when I went to, we, we had like clinic in school. And I just got really close to the little older ladies that were coming in. And that's what pushed me to continue to work with the older okay. population. Yes. Because I'll tell you something. In June, yes. I hadn't yes. been to the nail salon in a long time. Yes. And I decided in June, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to treat myself, go get my feet done, what have you. And I'm diabetic. And yes. I always, whenever I would go, always say I'm diabetic to who's ever yes. working on me. And so I went to the place that my sister recommended and mm -hmm. very clean, very, I mean, they had a system girl. You was here and then moved me along. And so I'm sitting uh, in the chair waiting for the guy to come work on my feet. Mm -hmm. And I just guess I just couldn't feel how hot the water was. I, I couldn't feel. And so, you know, he does my nails and I'm thinking and does the pedicure. And, and I mean, girl, I'm just so excited. I'm on the phone talking, telling everybody I'm having such a good me day and all that kind of stuff. And so when my sister came to pick me up I, and when I was getting in a car, I happened to look down and I saw these blisters on my legs. Ooh. And um, I said, hmm, because they weren't there before, you know. And when I got home and really started investigating, and I had girl, and I realized I was burning. Yes. And I just didn't realize it. I got so emotionally upset because I was just so upset that I could not feel what yes. was happening. Exactly. You know, and it just, oh, girl. And so... It, it, that sort of traumatized me a little bit. So I ain't been back to the, and it wasn't his fault because, you know, like I said, I told him I was, I just couldn't feel the temperature of the water that it was exactly. too hot. Exactly. And so I was like, when I saw, or when you were saying what you did and I saw that, that you focused on, you know, people that were diabetics, or whatever, I got so excited about that. I was like, you know, cause maybe, you know, 
in a in a more a different setting or something, mm -hmm. it, you know, it might be a different experience or yeah. something like that. But it just really, that just really, I wasn't expecting that. And when I talked to my provider, he was mm -hmm. like, yeah, sometimes the desensitization in your legs, it can come with that. You know, I knew they always check your feet. Can yeah. you feel this? Can you feel that? Right. I had no idea that, you know, it could happen to your legs too. So that was my yeah. experience in June. And so I'm coming to see you. I'm well, just like, you know, I'm coming to see you. And I, it's funny you say that. I'm also a diabetic as well. And I had some really <laughs> negative experiences at the salons. Oh, I didn't God. get blisters. My issue was foot fungus. Oh, so, wow. so these people that I went out to, they, they prided themselves <laughs> of being, you know, top notch, this, that. Now mm -hmm. being a nail tech, I can see, you know, kind of what you're doing wrong. Right. And one thing that some salons, not all, that they do, which spreads infection, is reuse foot files. Okay. Um, the, 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 the file that you right. use on your nail. Um, and I saw her just pull out this old dusty, crusty <laughs> thing. And right. I said, you know what? I have one in my purse. Can you just use this one? And she got so offended. But she did it. But mm -hmm. she had already touched my foot with the with dirty that one. one. And by that time, a few weeks later, my foot started burning and itch. Mm. And I looked at my toe. It was black. And I said, <laughs> mm. I got foot fungus. So that happened to me twice. Wow. Um. So that that experience, I've been a diabetic for 10 years. Okay. Um. That experience, that's another thing that just shoves me over. Mm -hmm. um, where I said this this got to stop and and it, it's it's just a, such a huge problem <laughs> right and something that does need to have more awareness about it right or we can't feel our feet sometimes because of that neuropathy that you talk right about. right um but you just don't know <laughs> right I'm gonna you tell you because Prior to that, I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, I'm doing okay. And yes. then girl, I'm walking out with blisters all the way around my face. I was like, oh, no, no. It's, mm -mm, it's scary. I, I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, it was scary. And that's yeah. what it, it scared me. Because my sister, she, um, my other sister, she lives out of state. And so we happened to be on the phone and she could mm -hmm. see. And she was like, Lenny, what's wrong with your legs? You know, because the phone must have been down, you know. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, I don't know. I said, I think I got burnt when I went to the nail salon. Yeah. And um, and so right away, I was like, it wasn't the people's fault because I told them I was diabetic. I I just couldn't feel how yeah. hot the water was. I said, I would have I would not have sat there all the time in that yeah. hot, hot water if right. I could have felt it. You know, I'm right. like, and for what it did, I should have bounced right out of it. That's mm -hmm. how hot it, you know, to cause the burns that it did. Yeah. But yeah, so mm. and let me ask you, when you yeah. um after losing your job and you started this, what challenges did you have when you first started? With the uh, foot care? Mm -hmm. um, wow. <laughs> Again, seeing people that were suffering for, and, and they had the same experience you had and, my, and the ones that maybe I had as well. Mm -hmm. um, they were afraid to go to another salon. I, mm -hmm. said, I don't want nobody touching my feet. My feet got messed up. I got foot fungus. I got blisters. My feet, mm -hmm. they're peeling, you know. You know, I, I had just listening to how many people had negative experiences. You know, I had someone say, I saw them pour Ajax in the water wow. to clean the bowl. And that is not the way you disinfect a right. pedicure bowl with, with Ajax powder. That's right. the no no. Um, so those stories, those horror stories <laughs> pushed me even more. That was difficult to hear all the, 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 like I said, I, I'm not being negative toward the nail techs that do it the right way, <laughs> Right. but there are some, so many that don't. Yeah. And that's, that, that's hard to hear. And then also it's many other, you know, issues that bother your feet. I mean, if you, um, suffer if you're getting cancer treatment, it just depends. Yeah. Um, you have to watch your nails, your toenails. Um, so I have many different clients that have many different chronic issues that affect their feet. 
Yeah. Um, so because I also yeah. have plantar fasciitis in oh, my heels, and so girl, yeah. I'm look. I tell people I'm a cornucopia of bad <laughs> joints, honey. <laughs> if it's gonna be a bad joint, I'm gonna have it. hands net everywhere. I, you know, I'm like, okay, come Lord yes. Jesus, right? Yes. <laughs> like, Absolutely. But yeah. So I I get that, and so when I have yeah. flare ups of that between. Girl, it's just it's just it's, it's just a soup of some stuff going on. I get it. Mm. I don't don't feel bad. There's stuff out there that can help you. So, <laughs> so my mom, she has the same thing. So I, wow. I take care of her feet, and so I just you just play it by ear. Some days I'm I'm on my way, and they'll say, you know, Lenore, no, please, <laughs> I can't. You know, so I just. You just, I said, well, give you, I give you two, three more weeks. You want me to come out in a week? Yeah, give me some time, you know. So when did you partner um, Adamani Nicole? When did you start working with them? That's been recent, actually. I started oh, okay. in September. Oh, wow. And I do want to tell you a little more about that. Um, I, I met Nikia in, in 2019 at a, a pink event. Okay. Um, and my, my younger sister, purchased me a ticket because I'm not going. I don't know that lady. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> I don't feel like going. I don't want to go there. So she said, just go. I'm going to pay for your ticket. So that's how I met her and some other ladies that were there. Had a good time. And act this year, um, I, I, I was ramping back up with the mobile nail care. Okay. And I had reached out to her and I said, you know what? People, I'm telling her the same thing I told you. People that I'm seeing, their feet are horrible, <laughs> and they need proper care. Right. Um. So, do you think this is something that we can add on? Because she see a lot of diabetic patients, right. their clients. I said, you think this is something that we can add on to to help in the community? So I have two sets of people that I see, and I want to tell you this because you may can take advantage of this too. So we have people that um, pay, mm -hmm. you know, outright for the um, wellness pedicure services, and then once a month we have um, a sponsored event um, where we have ladies come in at no cost. Um, we accept tips, of course, right, <laughs> but, right. but that once a month where women can come in and get their toes trimmed, and that you know buff on the bottom of the feet, you know, mm -hmm. take all that dead skin off and then do a nice shea butter massage. So we do that once a month. Okay. We, we always book completely out that day. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> because we do understand, you know, it's a cost. And right. Some people I know, they, they're on a budget. Some are not. Right. You know, some can pay that full fee. Others cannot. So I I said to her, I, I can't work on just one and not the other. <laughs> right. So let's do both. Let's try. Um, so our next one is actually for October is coming up on Monday. We're booked the whole day for that sponsored event. We're going to mm -hmm. do it again in November. We'll, we'll put that out there. Um, but that's how we connect it. So we're, we're just ramping up. It's been a month. We're doing good. So now, how are you? How are you for bookings? Like, mm -hmm. um, because I guess you do whatever you're on the schedule for at the spa, and yeah. then how are you time wise for bookings for yourself, uh, for your mobile clients? Oh boy, so <laughs> you have to be organized. Right. <laughs> so I do all the booking. Okay. Um, for, at first she said, "Well, I'll do a link." But I'm like, I, I, I like to have control of that in right. my time because I have appointments for my mom, myself. Right. And so I, I use a portal. Oh, okay. And I just set up everything in that, that calendar and I know who I'm going to see. I know if they're paying cash. Um, I have people pay me before I come on their card. Okay. And I just send them that link. It's very organized. I never had okay. an issue. Yeah. So, because I know what day, time, I book out extra time for travel. Mm -hmm. Um. So, I it's been working out. 
I, yeah. I, just, I just like to do it on my own. <laughs> right, right. Because like you said, you want to be able to have that control on your schedule because you'll know when it's like something comes up or whatever yeah. and it's not something, a surprise to you. And, I, and, and it's funny you said that because it, it had some days it's been like um, Nakia, um, she have clients and she tells people about me that I'm there now, of course. Okay. So how we work that out is she just texts me. Can you, are you available at this time, okay. this day? And I'll look on my little calendar, my portal. Yeah, I, I can come in on that day. It works out. Nobody knows how Good. we work. Just told Good. you. <laughs> right. So, so it's very organized. I'll put it like that. <laughs> okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so um, for your handmade jewelry, are you do you do um, like custom requests or you do collections that you show or feature? How, do, how does your handmade jewelry work? So I do custom work. Um, not a collection, I would say, but I just make some every couple of weeks and then try to just sell them out. Um, of course, some sells, some doesn't, but the ones that don't, I wear them. <laughs> <laughs> it's an advertisement, girl. That's right. Yeah. So <clears throat> some people will say, I didn't see that on the site. Is that on the site? I say, yeah, it's on the site. So, okay. So um, you have a website that, that the jewelry is on? Yeah. So if, oh. if you follow, um, my Instagram at live living as Lenore, or I'll just say Lenore and company, or leave it. Okay. Simple. Um, I have a link in my bio that it, it has, um, where you can purchase and look at the earrings. If you like them, you can just purchase them there. So that's okay. how we've been, yeah, we're reaching a lot of people. So we're happy about it. All right, guys, you heard her say it's Lenora and Company on Instagram. So go there, look at them, and start mm -hmm. shopping. That's right. That's right. You're on Facebook too, Lenora and Company. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. So can people like approach you about doing a custom piece? Like, say somebody has an event or something, and maybe they want something. Like, say somebody's going to a wedding, they say they want some earrings that yeah. sort of, yeah, can they approach you about doing custom things like that? Okay. Yeah, we have um, the last person. Usually someone will say, like we work with a woman, her business logo colors were gray and pink. And I'm like, how in the world am I going to put that together? That don't go together. You know, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. so she said, but those are my colors. I trust you. And I'm like, okay. So I told my family, I'm going in the basement. And I got to put on my thinking cap. How are we going <laughs> to, how I'm going to mesh together gray and pink and i tell you when i i did three and then i finally did like a fourth one and i sent it to her i said do you like this this is the one i came up with what do you think she said they are beautiful and wow. that would push me to say you know what i'm gonna do more custom right no, you custom know work. Okay. yeah so that's been that's one of the examples that people have been doing they said this is so do you photo. just do earrings or do you do like other pieces like necklaces or uh, pins or things like that what do you oh so we've been earrings? doing hair clips we did that for a oh. while um we also started doing rings maybe about two months ago we've okay. been doing cut rings mm -hmm. um but our but our most popular thing is the earrings earrings mm -hmm. yeah because those are beautiful that you have on and i'm assuming mm -hmm. that they're yours you're they are, yeah. yes yeah, they are beautiful <laughs> thank mm -hmm. you so much thank yeah. you <laughs> so how um being an entrepreneur, and I guess this is uh, more leaning from uh, the event that we were at. Oh. Um, are there any like uh, challenges that you face being an entrepreneur since you went that route uh, and owning your own business? Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's. I, I told someone, my family can vouch for this. <laughs> they see all of Lenore okay. <laughs> when I'm home, mm -hmm. um, but. You have to, like I said to someone, you have to wear so many hats. Right. Um, I'm only one person. Right. When you think of a huge corporation like Walmart or Target, you know, they have divisions <laughs> that take care of marketing. Right. You know, advertising, 
sales, you know. So when you're an entrepreneur, a small business person, you, you, you do all that yourself. Mm-hmm. You answer the telephone. You answer the email. You're the secretary. <laughs> you're the mm-hmm. accountant. You know, you, you are marketing. You, you, you're the face of the company. Right. So it takes a lot. It's not for everyone, right. <laughs> but it takes a lot to try to stay level. And, and sometimes I just like, I got to turn it off. It's hard to turn off. Right. You know, because you, this is how you make money. Right. Um, but you know, I try to fit in now more of time for me. Okay. Doing stuff that I like to do, like walking, um, reading i love to read just me too i'm an avid reader down. too yeah i do and it it, it brings it recharges me right but you can kind of get hung up in the posting and the emails and the calls right right and, and so it that's probably one of the most difficult things is that a lot is riding on your company mm-hmm. and you you want to be available but you have to learn how to Turn it off. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's tough, but yes. So That's what the- would be, uh, in addition to that, what would be a nugget? Just do one, mm-hmm. a nugget that you would share with a young a young woman wanting to become an entrepreneur. What would be one nugget that you would share? Well, I would say, uh, first, don't quit your day job. Okay. <laughs> it's important. You, have one. <laughs> you need some capital. Yeah. <laughs> If you have a job, don't quit your day job. Um, of course, do it on the side. Some people mm-hmm. say dive right in. Um, but when you think about today, we you need health insurance. Yeah. Got, if, you, if you have we don't a, live in an economy that, that no. anybody can just dive right in most of the no. time. No. You have to be really safe um, mm-hmm. with your spending because you want to make a return. That's yeah. the point. And if you buy, like, let's say I buy a lot of supplies or, you know, and, and it doesn't, I work hours on it and it doesn't sell. I'm like, it's just sitting around, you know, that's not smart. So right. along the way, I, I, I think it's just going to take patience, definitely a lot of patience. And also mentors. I, I had many, and I still do, mm-hmm. older women in their 60s. Um, I'm in my 40s, and they're in their 60s. Okay. They've been in business for years, and I email them, I text them, and they've been just giving me that push that I need, giving okay. me tips about how to keep going, because you want to quit sometimes. Um, right. So mentor and patience. And don't spend too much on <laughs> supply. Yeah, and that was a, and I will be uh, very transparent in relation to that comment you made. I know mm-hmm. um, I started uh, with the direct marketing company in March of 2020 because mm-hmm. I was furloughed from my job for a oh, time. Yes. And so I needed a backup plan. You know, it was like, it, it was so crazy. I, we were furloughed. And then the HR department act like they couldn't get stuff right in order to put the information in properly with, um, girl, my mind. See, this is this is a, as a result of cancer treatment. It just goes okay. blank. Um, okay. Where you get your unemployment from? With them. They couldn't get the information yeah. over properly so that our unemployment was delayed for such a long time. Oh. So it was like, I needed a, a plan B. Yes. <laughs> so I started, but like you just said, Mm-hmm. Don't overspend. I bought so many things that I thought I was gonna until I really understood what was all what it all entailed or what have mm-hmm. you. And some of those things I didn't end up using. So yeah. it was money that I could have put someplace else. And so I think that's a great nugget to share with people starting out. Don't don't spend until you realize that or understand what it is you actually need. Mm-hmm. Don't anticipate. Because right. I have a whole lot of stuff that's not using because I anticipated and we three years past that. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, that didn't help me. <laughs> but yeah, so um, that yeah. definitely is something, uh, you know, wait until you really uh, find out what, what's needed. And, and then it gives you an opportunity 
to actually make choices because maybe you could get mm -hmm. it from someplace cheaper if you understood yes. what you needed and all that kind of stuff. So Absolutely. that to me is a, definitely a great nugget to share. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I will tell you too, and and listening to you, you have such an easygoing manner. I could see, <laughs> no, no, seriously, why um, your mobile business would thrive the way it does, dealing, yeah. especially dealing with elderly, yeah, infirm, yeah. and people that have a disease process, because mm -hmm. you know they don't always get soothing treatment from someone, no. and so yeah. to be able to deal with someone that has that manner. Mm -hmm. That's a bonus uh, because a lot of times, you know, working in healthcare, you know, I see it. I, they they get confronted with a whole lot of attitudes. Oh, and yes. So, yeah, <laughs> dealing with someone that has that manner mm -hmm. um, is refreshing because they don't Thank get you. that every day. So I really do appreciate uh, your you. personality. It's such a nice, easygoing um, personality. Thank and that, so that for the industry that you have carved out for yourself mm -hmm. is a boom. That does definitely... Uh, an asset to what you're doing. Yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. it. So is it anything you got upcoming, any events or something you want to share uh, um, with the audience? I think, yes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> In addition to what we already talked about, the the, the wellness sponsor mm -hmm. day, which, which I will post about that later, our November date. Um, but what, since I am a licensed nail tech, what uh, I've been working on is offering, some people have been asking me, so we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some people have been asking, can you teach me how to do a manicure? Okay. You don't have to have a, like a special license to do it if you just host a workshop, you know. Um, so that's what I've been working on next week. We, we've we got some dates lined up. Um, it'll be one-on-one, um, -on -one, okay. person, you know, in person, of course. That's the best way to learn with that. Um, so that's what's new is coming very soon, hopefully okay. in November. Uh, we're going to teach people how to do a basic manicure. It's, it's been an issue. <laughs> So, well, yeah, because yeah. you know, who knows? Look, you never know when we get ready to go back for a lot, right? And so, to be able to DIY your own nails and stuff, yeah. that is a, that's a bonus. Yeah, so, so that's that the next thing okay, that we're that's doing. That's exciting, exactly. So, we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work, like as a business owner, you just scrap it, but <laughs> right, because you know, that's what we do. We try this, and if that works, okay, and right. if it doesn't. We try that. something different, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll, yeah. that's that's what's new that's coming very soon. So yes. Well, Lenore, <laughs> this has been a pleasure. It's been a treat for me, and I've told you, I'm gonna see you one way or the other. Either okay. you're gonna have an appointment at my house, or yeah. I'm gonna have an appointment out there. <laughs> so I'm coming. <laughs> Absolutely, we look forward to yes. seeing you. Yes. I appreciate it. It was and so much fun. <laughs> appreciate having you here at the Pink House and sharing your story yeah. and um. You know, it's just, it's amazing, like that event that, you know, you meet different women. And I'm going to tell you, I, one mm -hmm. of the things I shared with my sister, I said, I was blown away about how many women yes. are in business for themselves. Uh, you know, uh, I don't want to say a side hustle, but you know what I mean? I'm really trying to uh, do this. And I was like, it that was really eye opening for me. So yes. I really, really enjoy being a girl. I was like a kid in the candy store. I don't know if you can see my face because I was just so, you know, very taken aback by just everyone, everybody's story, the little sound bites that I got from different people. So exactly. it was just a, a wonderful, fantastic event. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And yeah. one one last thing. Mm -hmm. I used your cream. Oh, you did? <laughs> did you like it? Because <laughs> as a nail tech, our hands, I'll see all this oh, area sure. with, from massaging and using mm -hmm. tools can is very achy. Uh, so I couldn't wait to use that. So I used that the other day, and I I like that tingly feeling. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> so I want to say thank you for that. I I we, that was something that I, I have been using. So I appreciate that that, that peppermint cream. Pleasure. Yes, my pleasure. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, darling. We will be in touch. I thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. And um, all right, and stay on. I'm I'm in the broadcast, and then I'm gonna tell you one other thing. Alrighty.